hey guys welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new make sure to hit the like and subscribe button in today's video i am doing a really nice and simple glitter ombre poly gel nail design so i did prep my nails apply my peel off base coat and my nail tips off camera i also buffed the surface of the nails off camera as well just to save some time so now i am applying my gel base coat to all of the nails and then i cure for 30 seconds And as usual, I'm going to apply sunscreen to my hand because it is going to be in the lamp often in this video and I just want to protect my skin. I'm using rubbing alcohol as my sip solution. So we are starting with this nude poly gel for model 1s. I've used this nude poly gel for a few nail sets now probably this is my third fourth or fifth nail set using this very small tube of poly gel it is lasting very long and i like that i also purchased another tube of this same poly gel in a larger tube so yes i have enough to do a lot of nail sets so i start on the ring nail i applied a small bead of the poly gel to the ring nail i applied a manageable bead and i just distributed that around the cuticle area and the tip of the nail i am applying the poly gel using the two bead method so this is the first bead of poly gel you can apply how many beads that you are comfortable with applying as long as you get the nail looking really good so i always like to flip my finger over just to make sure that the poly gel is inside of the nail tip to maintain the shape of the nail and then i flip my finger back over just to smoothen the surface of the nail and ever so often you would get some particles in the nail so you want to make sure to take that out before curing the nail then i cured that for 30 seconds now i'm going in with my second bead at the nail bed area i want to create my apex so i just placed a larger bead of the poly gel and evenly distributed that around the cuticle area making sure that it is flush and it is very thin around the cuticle area you don't want to flood the cuticles and you don't want too much of poly gel around the cuticle you don't want it to be too thick around the cuticle area so it has to have like a nice transition like from the cuticle to the apex so it needs to be thin around the cuticle area and just goes up a bit to create the apex and then goes down if that makes sense so yes i'm just doing that and i make sure to leave some of the poly gel where the apex is supposed to be just leave a little bit of poly gel and then i fade the rest of the poly gel into the nail to create my well-shaped nail and i hope i explained that well enough for y'all to understand what i'm doing because sometimes i'm not good with explanations but yeah i hope i did the best at explaining this so that y'all can understand So 
so when I'm satisfied with how it looks I would cure that for 30 seconds now I'm going to be using this blue poly gel which is also from model ones I did review some poly gel that I got from model ones a few videos ago I would link to that video in the cards this was one of the poly gels that was included in the review and that poly gel kit is really nice there are so many colors to choose from so I'll leave a link to that video in the cards so onto the middle nail i just applied a bead of the blue poly gel to the tip area of the middle nail it's only going to be applied to the tip area so i just distribute it at the tip area only and then i flip my finger over and made sure to taper in the sides of the nail so that the poly gel stays inside of the nail i don't want it to be outside of the nail and yeah i just make sure to neaten the surface of the nail and to fade the poly gel into the nail bed because i don't want that harsh line of demarcation i'm just fixing the poly gel on the nail to make sure that it looks very neat and stuff like that and when i'm satisfied i cured for 30 seconds And it usually takes me a while to cure my nails because I look at the nails way too long. I make sure to fix everything before I cure it. And that's kind of weird because I shouldn't be doing so much to one nail. But yes, I usually do that. Just make sure that the nail looks perfect or as perfect as it could look. And then I would cure it for 30 seconds and that takes a while. So moving on to the thumbnail, I am going to be doing the same thing. and you don't want to waste any of that poly gel so i made sure to place the poly gel back into the tube now i'm going to be using these circular glitters on the nail and this is what i was so excited to use oh my goodness so i'm just going to be pouring some of the glitter onto my nail palette for easier access And I'm going to be using my Model Ones gel base coat. So I applied a layer of the gel base coat mostly to the tip area of the index nail. And then I'm going to be sticking some of the circular glitter at the tip area of the index nail and curing that for 30 seconds. So this glitter is made up of light blue, dark blue, black and gold glitters so i'm just going to be applying all of those glitters to the nails to the index nail and then i would cure for 30 seconds when i'm satisfied with how it looks And I wanted to apply a lot of glitter to this nail but I also wanted there to be space within the nail so that it could be clear and you could see through the nail as well so I had to find a balance as to what I wanted and I think I did that and when I was satisfied with how it looked I cured for 30 seconds then moving on to the pinky nail I am going to be doing the same thing
then i cured that as well for 30 seconds and this is how the nails are looking so far now i'm going to apply some gel base coat on top of the glitter to seal in the glitter and also to protect the glitter because i'm going to be doing ombre nails and i'm going to be using the nude poly gel on the index nail and the fact that i applied the gel base coat would seal in the glitter so that when i'm fading the poly gel into the glitters it wouldn't go under the glitter or anything like that to kind of make it look untidy i hope i'm making sense with how i'm explaining it so by applying the gel base coat it allows to have a smooth ombre nail so yeah i cured the gel base coat for 30 seconds if i didn't say that and now i'm applying the poly gel to the nail bed area of the index nail i distributed around the cuticle area making sure that it fits nicely around that area and then i bring the poly gel down the nail a bit to where i want the fade to be and i make sure to get a straight line across the nail and when i'm satisfied with how it looks i would fade the poly gel into the glitter to create my glitter ombre nail and cure that for 30 seconds then moving on to the middle nail i'm doing the same thing so i just applied a bead of the poly gel and then i distributed around the cuticle area bring it up the nail a bit and made that straight line across the nail so when i was doing this nail i noticed that on one side of this nail it needed a bit of poly gel it was it there wasn't much poly gel on one side of the nail and it wasn't really looking well shaped so i had to kind of pat the poly gel to the other side of the nail just to make it look like a well shaped and even nail and yeah when i was satisfied with how that was looking i would feed the nude poly gel into the blue poly gel and create my ombre nail and cure that for 30 seconds Now moving on to the pinky nail, I'm going to be doing the same thing. So usually when I am doing ombre nails, I like to look at the nails from a bird's eye view as I am doing right here. And as you can see, the poly gel is mostly on the right side and there isn't much on the left side. So I try to push the poly gel to the other side of the nail just to make it even so there is an even shaped nail kind of. So as you can see when I position my finger in the bird's eye view again it looks a lot more even right here. So I so it's only then that I would decide to fade the poly gel into the nail tip to create my ombre the nail needs to be even for me to start fading the nail to create my ombre if there is too much poly gel on one side of the nail and not enough on the other side it does not create a good ombre nail so keep that in mind as well when you are doing your ombre nails make sure it is even and yeah when i'm satisfied i cure that for 30 seconds And on the thumbnail, I am doing another ombre nail and I cured this one for 60 to 120 seconds. You need to cure your thumbnail for longer because the nude area is considered a dark poly gel and the fact that your thumb is in a kind of weird position when you have to apply it inside of a nail tip, it doesn't cure fully at 30 seconds. So you need to cure it for 60 to 120 seconds for it to really cure 
now i am going to be encapsulating all of the nails and this clear poly gel that i'm using right here i have used this poly gel probably five or six times in other nail designs and there is still so much poly gel in this tube however it did finish when doing this design so yeah i'm just going to be applying two beads of the clear poly gel to encapsulate this nail so i just placed a bead of the clear poly gel at the tip area and i just evenly distributed that at the tip area mostly if some ended up at the nail bed area i wouldn't mind that but it was mainly to focus on the tip area of the pinky nail and i just evenly distribute that to protect the glitter and when i'm satisfied with how it looks i would cure that for 30 seconds And now I'm just going to build the apex of this nail. So I placed another bead of clear poly gel and then I'm going to evenly distribute it around the cuticle area. And then I bring it down the nail a bit just to create the apex of the pinky nail. And when I'm satisfied with how the nail looks from all angles, I would cure that for 30 seconds. Next, I am going to be encapsulating the middle nail. So I just placed a large bead of the clear poly gel and I'm just going to be encapsulating my ombre to protect my ombre when it's time for filing. So I'm just going to let this part play out and I'll be back when I have something important to see. So sometimes you have to move the poly gel around a bit because I had too much poly gel at the tip area and not enough poly gel at the nail bed area. So I had to pull some of the poly gel from the tip area up to the nail bed area just to get a well shaped nail. So you know you have to look at your nail from all angles. I know I say this in every video but it is important. That's why I say it so many times. I am very repetitive in this video because Although all of the designs are kind of different, it's still, you still have to do basically the same thing. So that's why I usually say the same things all of the time. So yeah. On the thumbnail, I had to use some of the clear poly gel from my new tube of poly gel because this tube was done. <laughs> Such a small tube of poly gel did so many nail designs. So this is after encapsulating all of the nails now i am using robin alcohol to remove the tacky layer from the nails and then i filed the nails off camera
So this is after filing the nails. Now I am going to be using my Model 1's gel glue and I'm going to be using gel top coat and I'm just going to be placing some rhinestones on the nail and it's only here I realized that my rhinestones were messed up. I couldn't believe it. I was so mad. I think my rhinestone container really wasn't fully closed and the rhinestones got mixed up and some spilled and stuff like that which was very annoying oh my goodness but i couldn't do anything about it so i am just going to be applying the rhinestones to my middle nail i'm going to be applying them around the critical area so i just placed a layer of model one's gel glue and then some gel top coat and then i applied the rhinestones around the critical area and cured for 30 seconds Moving on to the ring nail, I apply a layer of Model 1's gel glue. Then I applied some gel top coat. Then I'm just going to apply some rhinestones to the ring nail at random. And next I am going to be pouring some caviar beads on the ring nail then I cleaned around the sides of the nails just to maintain the shape of the nail and cure for 30 seconds now I'm going to top coat the rest of the nails and cure for 30 seconds I also top coated the underside of the pinky nail and the index nail off camera So this is how the nails are looking. Now I am going to apply cuticle oil to rehydrate my skin and nails. And this is the finished look guys let me know what you think about this nail design in the comments below as I've said in a lot of my videos I really love model ones products and these poly gels were so good so yeah let me know what you guys think thanks for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe and I'll see you in my next one bye guys by the way I did not shape this thumbnail very good it kind of looks ridiculous <laughs>